Okay guys, we've had a pool here for, I don't know, five or six years. And my wife's always been upset because over there by that wheelbarrow, we've always had a low spot where the pool was about one and a half inches lower there than here. So we're trying to, we took it down and we're trying to get it absolutely perfect. She also wanted all the sod moved so we wouldn't have weeds growing up around the side anyways one of the ways that you can really tell where you have low spots is to let it rain on it you can see now exactly where I need to add dirt until the water runs out of the little rain on top of it or I guess you could use a hose you will see where your low spots are. Once you know where you want your exact center, get you a kneeling pad, a two by four with your level on top of it, and you're just gonna screed all the way around this. You're gonna go around and around and around, and all your low spots will get filled in. You want some dry dirt, then it'll be perfectly level when you're done. That's just a, that's a horseshoe stake. Once we get that done to where we want it, I'm going to add another two foot to the end of that two by four to get this outside edge to know exactly how much we got to cut away. Okay, after we have gone all the way around, we add weight to our screet. We just put a piece of strand board, screw it into the top. We had to add to our, couldn't find any two by fours. They're all sold out. You know, you got to sell your car to buy a two by four. So we couldn't find one straight enough, so I just got these old ones. So we screw them together, we screw that to there and put a weight on there, and that shows us exactly how far to go out. Then we're gonna tie a string in there when we get done, we'll go all the way around it, and it'll be completely level. Okay, we took an old broken broomstick, we tied some paracord, we drilled a hole in the end of the screeder, Tied a bubbling knot there, bring it over, tie a clove hitch to there, and you can spin this thing around, and it'll be perfectly level when you're done. So, just tie a clove hitch, just like that. But you want to stay at an angle like this, 90 degrees of it to it. Okay, Diane was getting way out here and trying to pull it and she was actually lifting it up and that won't be smooth. So you need to stay into it like this at a 90 degree angle to it. Okay, we want to lay the pool out in the sun for a few hours to help iron out some of the wrinkles. Okay, boys and girls. You want to put it up when the sun's shining, and that helps to iron out any wrinkles. And look, we don't have a single high spot, not a single wrinkle. We're adding water. It usually takes about three days to fill up. And as you start adding water, you can see if you got any high spots or low spots, and we don't. So. I did go around, I took a string and put it on that center post that I with my screeder board and I went around with paint and because I didn't want to take out any more room than I had to and it was nine foot, I think six inches to here so it gave me a two inch play right here so you can see we're off. A little bit there so you need to make give yourself you need to screed it a little bit further than what you might need see that one's that one's lined up that one's lined up so you want to give it a little bit extra rooms if you have to move something around see these are all where they need to be 